I don't know how this happened. I just checked the lint filter. I was did a load of laundry earlier, and there is like a death certificate that come out. It's either a Paul Griblin one or a Dull Abbott one. I don't think it's one of my mom's. And I, if it's a Paul Griblin one, that's like the only one I have. Other, I mean, the only original other than copies. I, it's, that was not supposed to happen. I mean, I just now opened this. I was cleaning out the lint, lint deal. This is insane. That makes me sad. I don't know what's going on. And this woman left in my house a bunch of copies of just stuff like that. I'm not totally happy about that. I mean... Just to say it plainly, I mean, she did a lot of cleaning in here. She did well on this room. But man, it's right after 1 p.m., not the day of January, year 2022. But this other stuff is not what I'm asking for. It's not what I hope for. And when I'm walking over to the neighbors last night, there's like a Toyota extended cab pickup just parked facing the highway. And I ask them, I'm like, is that common? And they're like, yeah, they do that all the time. And I'm like, I'm like, well, I don't get out very much. I don't know what's been going on lately. I'm like, I don't know if they're wanting to, people want to watch and see when I'm not home or what. I don't know. Man, I ain't going to lie. I mean, when that woman, I just when she called a week ago Tuesday, going backwards Tuesday, Wherever that was, she called. She called the home number, and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, it's, it, it's so good to hear your voice." I said that to her, and um, I'm like, "I've been asking about you, you know." I'm like, "I've been worried about you, you know," because last time she called me was uh, in late July, like July, uh, uh, this mirror's messy. July 2026, evening of, and she's like crying and depressed and saying she'd been living out of her car the past two weeks. I even tried to share it to the Facebook story. I put the video on here, you know, like a month later, you know, I'm like, you probably won't get this. And what else was there? Anyway, I was like, oh, so what? She did try to call me a few, about three or more weeks ago on Messenger. I had a device that I don't, that's not working anymore. And it was a very staticky connection, and it sounded, I just could hear hello, and it sounded like her voice. But I'm like, other than that, you know, um, uh, um, I really had, I, did, I hadn't heard her voice, voice, like conversation until going, uh, not last Tuesday, but Tuesday before last. She called me that afternoon on the 2845 number, said she had to get it off the internet, she couldn't really, like, find me on Facebook, or my number wasn't listed on Facebook. And then, uh, she's at, like, she's wanting to come here that night. And then, uh, I call her, she called, said she'd call me Wednesday morning. She did. And I'm like, I don't think it's going to work. I mean, something she said the previous night, I, I kind of added to that. I'm like, I just don't think it's going to work. And I laid back down. I'm feeling depressed. And really, my, the, I'm just going to say it. It's not that I was trying to settle, or out of, I don't know, out of desperation. I mean, I was like... I just, all I can say is I needed somebody here. I needed, in that moment, I just knew it. I needed somebody that I, I was comfortable with in certain areas that I knew. And I'm not going to, and I'll just say it plainly and openly. I've hoped for things to work with her ever since it got started. It, going back to June 2018 after she moved in, within three months or so long I don't know, by the, by the end of 2018, I'm like falling in love with her, or I felt that way, I, I, I did, I did, I, 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 where I may not have been in love with her, I, I, I'll be repetitive when I say this, it's like I wanted to be, I wanted her to give me reason to be in love with her, and I mean, I, can, I, I keep saying, she brought out a side to me that I'd never seen before, and I don't say that selfishly, I'm grateful for it, I'm grateful to, to God Almighty about it, I, 
I, and, and she don't even know what she done. She don't even know the effect she had on me. I mean, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I mean, I, I, I can't. I can't. I could, but I'd probably talk too long. I'd talk too much. I mean, I... And, I, and I'll never forget it. You know, like, by late summer, early fall, under this roof is before the end of 2018. She, We're in the living room together. It's like in the middle of the day. And she just says out loud, she's like, marry me. She just says, marry me. And um, I'm like, well, I'm like, if you mean that. I already knew she was like, I'm just going to say it. I'm not trying to tell on her. She can tell me some, I guess. But I don't like how she does it. Um... She's a tw I knew she's a long time cigarette smoker, and I didn't want her to do that. I'm like, okay, well, it takes you four months, six months. I'm like, I want that to be my premarital gift. And <laughs> I don't remember what she said. We kept seeing Henry Lever action. We was had limited TV, and we kept seeing Henry Lever action commercial. I'm like, I want that to be my wedding gift. Like, if we ever do get married. I don't know, man. It sucks. It's sad. I mean, you know, I'm not... She even told me in like spring of 2018, she she mouthed off to me one day. She's like, you're settling. I'm like, I'm not. If you would do what you say and mean it, that's what I said. And um, I can't explain it. Um, it's it's insanity. It's insanity. I bought that one of the last times I was in Walmart in Mena, Arkansas. Only because it was cheaper. But I've learned... I don't know what she did with all my razors. You can't buy women's razors because they're wide. I'll give it a prime example. I don't care. Uh, look, It's like, look at that. You can't shave under a mustache with that. You know, so I've learned to look at don't buy women's razors, even if they're cheaper. But it's okay to do this. It's like 75 cents or more cheaper. And then they look pretty, whatever, gross. But she cleaned. She cleaned in here pretty good. She swept on the floor. She did good. Um, it needed to be done. She did really good in here. And then that cat, the 20 year old cat that got put down over a month ago, cat litter box was commonly over there. Um, th th this is, there's areas in here who I'm, who I'm gonna refer to as Kid the Cleaner. Didn't do, you know, and. I don't care for ornaments like that, but I mean, she's always been good at decor stuff, you know, she's always been good at it. And I, I don't know, like I've left that there. I don't know how long I've left it there and I hung this up, you know, it's got her last name on it and, um, ah, man, it just, it hurts. It hurts. Here I am talking. I'm being an idiot, man. And that, that got me back video and I don't know how that even got in there. How did that get in there? What's going on here? If she knows something, I don't know. She needs to fess up and correct it and make matters right or something. I don't know. This man is not been... Since my mom died, I was really flustered over things before my mom died. And, and I was hoping she would have, understand that. She'd have the capacity to have sympathy, compassion... It, it wasn't just about, like, Scotty needs his house clean. Scotty needs some other serious things taken care of. And, I, you know, and she would even say, well, she's here last week. She's like, oh, so, you know, I don't, I don't know how she would word it. She's like, somebody needs to feel like they have somebody. She said that. And then it's just like, by Friday, a week ago, not last Friday, but a week ago last Friday, I'm hearing more about, I'm just hearing about, I let her use one of my phones. I don't know what she all did on it. That one, that boy had active for like 35 days, uh, and, 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 and that, that's like a new number, but uh, um, I'm just here, I let her use it, she downloaded a TurboTax app, uh, I, I, I pay earlier that day, I think it was Friday, for her to have unlimited minutes, she's trying to activate a phone um, of hers, or wherever she got it from. And, and then she said she needed to go pick something up at a store to say vaguely. And it was just like that was on the increase. That was like her motive, her goal, her agenda. And uh, she knows I've not been driving. I don't know. Am I an idiot? I guess so. Obviously. And I'm saying I'm an idiot, not always, I don't mean it in the terms of ignorance. Like my grandfather had a, a medical condition called ITP. It stood for idiopathic something. It made his blood count, his platelets uh, uh, lesser. 
And, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. He had to get procreate shots for it. I mean, I took him to a lot of appointments at the cancer place, the oncology place, from the time I was like 18 to 20. Neighbor guy made a sign last night with his name on it. I, I, said, I said, you can put it on the tree where I put the yellow sun. Okay, it's not, not in the upper 50s anymore. It was close to 60. It's dropped. It's now like barely uh, above 50. But anyway, I'm just going to upload this like an idiot. And she probably won't even call me. I was on the phone with her briefly last night. I was walking back from my neighbors. And she's like, you need to go home and go to bed. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm in the highway. That's where I'm headed. I don't know. I am a confused man. It's not that I'm, I don't want to say it. <laughs> Look at her. Jasmine went out. Don't even know she's there sometimes. Mia, the woman I'm talking about, picked her out as a puppy. It's right before mom died, and, and I'm not going to get into all that, but some things contextually. She picked her out, out as a little puppy. She named her Mia, the black jasmine dog, who's kind of like my number one dog here. And, uh, and you know, I mean, that dog was raised as a puppy in the house. We, I even found one, you know, this woman I'm talking about was all the time buying chew toys for her. I mean, she even asked me. She asked me, like, in September, September, October. The the dog was born in September. Um, actually, where, where she's been spending most of her time, if I can say vaguely. Uh, the dog, Black Jasmine, wherever she's at, she was born in September. We got her sometime in November. But before we got her, she's like, hey, do you care if I get this dog? Do you care if I get a puppy? She's like, you won't have to do anything. She's like, I'll, I'll clean after it. I'll do everything. And I said, yeah, it's fine. And then, of course, you know, I got attached to her. And, you know, I remember it was like sometime April of the next year of 2019. You know, Jasmine's like half grown. And she's going, going to the vet. And I met my mom and this woman I'm talking about take her to a vet in uh, Malata and to get her fixed. I'm out here in the yard in the evenings walking her with a leash, you know, letting her go to the bathroom. Because they was like, don't let her be real active after her surgery. And I remember me and this woman I'm talking about, we'd be going over to visit my mom. And we'd have her leash on the highway. And we'd be getting onto her at the highway. Like telling her not to cross it. Or I, even I would play the role in this. Like would wait, there she is. Uh, would wait for us, uh, excuse the mess. Uh, uh, what are they doing? Chewing on deer parts. But uh, with Missy Dog. Um, anyway... Um, this dog will not, I can take off walking on the highway and she nine times out of 10 will not go or even go to the other yard unless there's like drama going on. I mean, I actually, I care about all the dogs, but I mean, she's kind of like number one. I mean, she's a house dog. I mean, she's both an outside dog and house dog. She very, very rarely gets left outside all night. It just don't happen. They're going to growl, get mad at each other over deer bones or whatever it is they're chewing. Anyway, anyway, I'm just saying, I, I, can't, I don't know if I can explain it. I don't know if it matters. Good come out of it. With me knowing where I was at, or, it, good come out of it. There goes a bird of some sort. But uh, I mean, it's just all that stuff. I mean, just, it, it was her idea to start putting on the, the, the fence. We tacked all this up together. The fence right here. And then she had to start planting morning glories. She would fill up the hummingbird feeder, you know, so I mean, it was, and then, you know, at times, you know, walk my mother home. So it was all this stuff that just added up. It was just like, it just seemed like there was a missing piece in my life. And it's kind of like, to some extent, she filled that missing piece. I mean, it was, I don't know how to, am I being stupid? I guess to some level, am I being logical with what I'm saying? I think so to some level, but it's like... No, I don't want a dysfunctional relationship. No, 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 no. No, I don't want to settle. And no, I don't gold dig. Even if I was, had everything in order, or, or I don't want a gold digger. <laughs> I'm not saying she's such. I don't think so, because she's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I drank some beer last night, and I'm not going to, it's about, I, I'm not going to say the rest, but I feel a little bit rough, but I was glad I got out. But I don't, under, I don't understand why that deal is in the, which one it is. It don't look like my mom's. Why is a, a birth certificate showing up in the dryer? That's got me upset. And, I, and I've and i been having, I've had to do it with Kid the Cleaner. I've had to do it with her. Like when she got here, I had paperwork laid out on the couch. It's like I have to move it. 
you know, out of respect or, or for various reasons. And it kind of puts me a little bit backwards on remembering where I put what. I found this earlier today. But I don't know. I just hope all this works out. I just do. I just, just like this chapter that I want to, to close and, and, and move on from. Be done with. And, and feel at peace about it. And have a good conscience about it. But, I mean, this woman. You know, it's like, why did she got the belt there? Why did she got that there? Why did she do all this? You know, um, I did. I did. I, did, I don't know how to explain it. I, I'm, I'm ta I feel like I'm talking too much. I upload a video. I don't know why I'm doing it. <laughs> Am I supposed to put age restricted on this? No, it's not. It's not I mean, I could. I mean, it's a sin to do it. I, I, I went over even after she moved out. I mean, it, it, it over a year went. The only person that I'd been intimate with was her. I, I, I would let, let's just say, I don't know if I should admit that. I guess I guess I can't. There's worse things on the news. Come on, if there's school shit, I can talk. I can say this right and not be age restricted. Um. I would go every now and then to look at, let's just say, not that often, and I'm not going to get into the full of it, be it adult, whatever, and I would quit. I would quit. It was like I was mentally, you know, I, I was, I even told her on the phone, like late 2019, early 2020, I'm like, I can't do, do that. I can't do it. Uh, uh, you know, I was, and I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Am I embarrassing myself? Am I being too... Good? I got peanut butter on my shirt earlier. My left shoulder's been real weak. The arm's been weak. I don't know why, but I feel like I've been toning up there a little bit. What, running the chainsaw a little bit in the front yard, getting that limb down. I don't know if I ever showed it on here or not. But, oh, man. To call it, like, potential. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It means... I, if we had certain things in common, just uh, stability, lo loyalty, honesty, I don't know. I mean, I just knew, I just knew if we were more on the same page, it could work on my side. It, it, I could work with her. If she, if she wanted to be that, you know, didn't like consider me, you know, boring or a boring lifestyle, because I am a simple man, or like somebody used the term yesterday, they have a basic lifestyle. You know, to me, I mean, it's me. I mean, it's like if you can enjoy looking at it when it's nice weather, enjoy looking at a sunset, or go to a pretty stream and enjoy each other's company and enjoy stuff like that together. I mean, that's a big deal to me. Or even garden together. Gar gar Her and I did do that, and I mean, I, I I liked it. I liked it. I mean, I'm just saying, I went somewhere. I, God, I'm, I'm almost embarrassed to say the word sexually, but it, it includes that. I mean, I went emotionally, sexually, somewhere I had not been. And I admit it's a, it was an unscriptural relationship, but I first laid eyes on this woman summer 2013. Didn't know her, didn't know anything about her personality. I knew, I knew who she started dating, and I was, for the first time, dating that person's long time ex and I hate trying to describe that because it sounds like a horrible horrible days of our lives thing and it, 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 it just happened that way but then by by her and her boyfriend later they they like summer 2015 they moved to Mena Arkansas that area and they, they pull in one day and with loaded down furniture and then we we start hanging out more and, and she often was a sober driver I did a 2010 Nissan Frontier there's a lot of times I was in the back seat and uh uh, her driving, her boyfriend in the front passenger, and me and he, might as well just to say short and sweet, me and him were beer drinking buddies, and, 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 and just me and her, we never really, we never talked much. I, I remember I, I, she, she had her, uh, that year she had her daughter with her. I, I don't know how, how old she was at the time. I, I I remember I go and visit. I go and visit one day. It's her daughter's birthday. I remember there's stuff unwrapped. There's like a helium balloon. And then later on, we go to the Branding Iron, this restaurant to eat. And then she mentions to one of the servers or waiters, like, oh, it's her birthday. She just mentions it with no intentions of what's about to happen. And then, then like three or four, at least three workers come over to the booth. Like, I'm setting... 
how was how was the seating arrangement? We're in a booth. It's me. I'm sitting here. He, her boyfriend's there. Daughter's in the deal. She's in the the corner against the wall. This woman I'm talking about. And I remember anyway the the um, after she let it slip, it was her daughter's birthday, or, or just she didn't let it slip. She commented about it, and uh, the, the 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 staff said, "Oh, well, we'll I'll be back with other staff, and we'll we'll sing our our, our our birthday anthem or whatever they call it. I don't even know." And I so we knew it was coming. I'm looking at him. I said, "I'm going to the bathroom and, and hiding. Do you want to go?" And I didn't do it, and um, and I could tell she was shy. She was like a little bit shy over it, but she, this woman, was was loving it. You know, she was like so loving this moment, and um, and uh, um, I think the most two shyest people in that moment were were me and her daughter. And and then somewhere late that summer, she she drove our truck on the property here. I remember that night where we entered the the field. I, I think I end up scaring her a little bit, but, but I remember she, there's a mud hole. When you're going to the far field that contains the bottling factory here, she, she got stuck. And it was all, all four of us, me, this woman I'm talking about, her then boyfriend, her daughter. So I let her drive the truck, and she got stuck. I wasn't mad. I'm like, I'm going to have to take over this part. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to have to get in the driver's seat. And, and that seemed to make her sad. And then I remember I kind of, you know, sped up. I can't remember if I was chasing a deer or a coyote, something like that, with the headlights of the truck. And it seemed to scare her. But I've seen her, I saw her drive other times, you know, like at the, the trailer park in Mina. Uh, um, um, anyway, long story short, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to divulge this or not. She quit having her daughter. She started acting like she's really sad about that. Um, and then t- timeline it. I mean, I, don't know, I'll, I, I, I can only say so much. Then, Summer 2017. She's working for the bottling plant on the property here. And I remember one day she calls me. She, like, just a half a mile east of here, down the road, on the other side of the factory. Whatever vehicle she had borrowed, because she's having on and off spells of not being around her boyfriend, or on and off spells of being single, or that they were just in separation times, or whatever. But she called me. She's like, I ran out of gas. She's like, can you help me? And I'm carrying the gas jug down there to the vehicle, and then I remember I'm calling her, because I, like, I couldn't find the key, or it was something you just stick in the ignition and turn it. Like, I, I'm like, how do you, I text her or called her. I'm like, how do you start this? And she told me, and then I took the vehicle to where where she worked and uh, parked it right there and walked back home with my gas jug and um is there any more i should say i don't know i don't know well anyway i run into her in in like a norman dollar general store may of 2018 before we start dating and uh or before she moves in and she's like have you seen so and so around two people and i'm like no and she's like oh they'll be around and she was right so i'm like 10 days in a row up until june the 1st well then on june the 4th she calls me i'm here I'm, i remember the day pretty well i was like 3 4 p.m i'm laying down i can't go to sleep i'm bored i'm depressed and she calls me with a female friend she's like hey i want to know if it's an okay time for me to stop by and i have a friend with me and she's like i have some beer and, and and bam from the first night you know i'm doing facebook live playing with songs talking to her and i remember when we before dark we're leaving to the uh her and her friend had to escort my mom home more than once uh, my mom was drinking um anyway i remember us leaving the driveway before dark and we're headed to Norman so she could go get something. And um, I think it was her friend's vehicle. And I, I remember just us being parallel and she's looking at me and she's like, she's a little bit beer buzzed. I wouldn't say she's drunk. She's like, why have I never looked at you this way before? And I don't, I don't remember my response. And I said, I don't know. And I remember when it got later that night, her, her friend, I had the house better in order than what I was doing, you know, from last year or whatever. But, um, uh, her, her friend slept on the couch. We come into the bedroom and the first time to sleep, same bed. And all I did was put my arm around her and I asked her if I could do that. That was okay. She said, yeah. And by that week I'm buying protection from the Norman dollar store. And I, and then for whatever reason, I wasn't too worried about her, I I wasn't, I mean, I, no, early into it, I did tell her, I'm like, I'm not used to this, you know, I'm like, you know, the, 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 
the the past couple of relationships I've been in, they've been where you know they they, they either were already had a tubal or was on like the Depro Provera shot, like and I knew for a fact, like there was really no concern of me being worried about pregnancy. And I'm like, I'm not used to this. You know, there so I'm buying condoms. I'm just gonna say it, you know, matter of factly. I'm not trying to be rude on anything. And and then by sometime in August, she's in the other shower one evening. It's early in the evening or early at night. And she calls me in there and, and, and she shows me like a mass clotty thing, almost as big around as the end of my finger. And she's like, oh, I know my body. I'm having an early miscarriage or I had one. And, and, and it, it tripped me out mentally, psychologically. Uh, I, I was like, this can never happen again. It, it tripped me out. To the point, and she took it personal. I tried to explain it to her. I'm like, it's not you, it's me. It, it, it I, I'll just say, I could function most of the way, but to say it plainly, and I hope I can speak this openly, I couldn't climax for a while. I could not. I couldn't. I, I mean, I could function in every other way, but I could not climax. The only other time I experienced that was like sometime during 2014, and I was take, I, I took an old medicine like a tenanol, some kind of a beta blocker, blood pressure pill, that, that messed with me that way, but otherwise I don't remember ever having this kind of issue. And, and, I'm, and I'm not ashamed that it happened. I'm actually glad. I mean, it showed that, you know, I took it very seriously. I didn't I've never been the top, you know, like, if, if I'm, I'm scared to death of, of pregnancy, to tell you the truth. I mean, even history, even when I'm saying there's a, that, that I would have to be talking a, a, a lot there. To try to conclude that, I'll see if I can do it in, in concise points. Even if I was in a situation, you know, in a stable relationship where I would be like, you know, open to having a biological child with this another woman or, or my wife if you will just say for the sake of argument or for example I, I'm the type I've, I've been this way since early 20s maybe even late teens I would be I used to say I'd adopt and, and, and part, part of me could bypass this what I'm about to say or describe and two I would be like plus I'm like if I, if I have a stable home and I got a good wife you know if, if there's a child out there that we can adopt we should go that direction instead of you know creating another life you know if one's already in existence that's the way I viewed it and but but here's my fear thing and it's not totally about you know what you can't control but this does factor in I was gonna be I'd be like I'm scared to death you know like what what, what if there's a deformity what if de he she or they don't come out normal uh what if my wife has major complications through this I mean it to me is it's a scary 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 thing and in uh, or matter and you cannot you cannot control the outcome of it. And then I found out with this woman, the notes used to be on Facebook. She said I could put them there and found out she has the MT, MTHFR gene. Somebody looked that up and it, and it, and it, it, it contributes to uh, miscarriages. So I don't, I don't think she ever did really. After the next, the next uh, June, late June of 2019, I went to every single appointment except one, the pre-registration on like June the 26th and she had the surgery on uh, June the 28th and I, I don't know if I can show it. I mean, I, I see it in my house from time to time. It's like, why does stuff like that happen? But then how does this hang around? How do I not lose this? I mean, I've seen, it's not like I've just put it in a sheet protector and carry, carried it. I don't, I don't think her social security number is on there. But what's the date? June 28th. That's the day she had surgery. I shouldn't be showing her last name. But I've just seen it in the house from time to time. And I tried to get her to pack her own stuff. I tried. I see that. I just see it. And, and, and it, it's, I don't know how much I'd say sentimental value is on that. It's just like, I don't know. I just, I just don't have, I don't have the heart to throw it away. I mean, and, and, and believe me, if this woman doesn't ever get on the same page with me, not that she will, as time goes by, that stuff is less meaningful. You know, it's just like, I don't know, I just like, I know what we went through on that. You know, I went with her to every appointment. And I was there, I just didn't go in with her. I don't know who she all met on June the 26th, pre-registration day for the outpatient surgery to be on June the 28th. But my mom was really angry. I already submitted a letter to, to driver control about concern of her driving ability. And, and driver control had already contacted my mother or had an interview with her. And so my mom was raging with me. She's, so on this particular day, while we're going with a particular driver uh, to, to, to Hot Springs, Arkansas, uh, on June 26th for a pre-registration. My mom had already agreed prior to this that that her car could be used. 
But then she got mad at me, and she's like, no, you can't go. I'm like, Mom, you're not being right about this. You're, you need to be more fair. You need to be more objective. You knew, you knew she was going to, you knew this appointment was coming. But my mom was so upset, you know, in fear of her independence and stuff. She didn't let her car go. But to give my mom a little bit of credit, she did say, she's like, well, this woman I'm talking about can use the car or, um, you know, but uh, no, you, you can't go. But that's still, that was still harsh. So I ended up going, we ended up going by a, a, a means of a different way. Oh, and I remember, and one day we went to one of the appointments in, in a scat van. Like, the only time I've ever rode in the scat van. And I rode with her. You don't understand. I felt obligated to be morally supportive for this woman. I wanted to see this through. I wanted it to get over with. She was even fearful that she could find something serious, you know, like cervical cancer or something. I wasn't totally ruling that out, you know, I, and I was keeping quiet about it. I was, I was worried about it, and that's partly why we went canoeing on June. This is her first time ever to go canoeing. I had a blast that day. She got wore out. I don't know if she had a blast or not. I don't think she regret. She had some fun. She had some fun. I remember some fun moments that day, and she's rocking the canoe, whatever. But anyway, June the first 2019 I remember it kind of got brought up by mid-morning before lunch hour and I was like hey you want to go canoeing and and, and and she's like yeah let's do it and I, I was purposely coordinating that at the time like I, we we her and I we got to do something we got to go out and do something before she has the sur surgery later in the month I, I mean I just it was in my mind it was like I it was like I just felt like we needed to do something special or need to just do an, a, an event an outing together that that hopefully we both would enjoy and I wanted to do it before the scheduled surgery because I knew even if the surgery went well she's gonna have five days a week or longer you know stitches you know I just knew she wasn't gonna be able to do much thereafter for a while and I thought well if it is serious I'm like we need to I need to do something and I'm not I, I've had all this stuff in my mind and I'm not even telling her my full motives you know I don't think I did and um you know I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know she has messed with my mind. She's messed with my heart. I've let her do it. I don't even think she does all of it on purpose. Is it okay that I'm on here talking about somebody like this and I'm not trying to be browbreeding if I do upload it? This is 32 minutes and 14 seconds. I don't know. Do I, am, I in, am I in love with her now? I don't know. Do I love her? I, I guess I do in some ways and, and I feel like an idiot for saying that. But but is she is she doing is she on on the level of what I would want to to like be married? No, no, <laughs> uh 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 uh. Do I, it's like is there a big part of me still that wishes that she would be? Yes, I guess so. I guess so. You know, I would have married her a long time ago. I would have if I just knew there was stability, trust. So th those are the two top things. Cause she could she can flip around and do a one eighty man, and I can't handle that. You know. And, or it's like, and I don't want to be in this, it's like, what, am I supposed to just accept it, you know? I don't know about that. Uh, and it, I don't know. I mean, I've got just certain boundaries you don't cross, you know? You just certain things you don't do if you're supposed to be in a committed relationship. And I'm like that. And, and I expect that, you know? I expect it. I don't know. But, I mean... I don't care. I'll say it at this point. Where where I was at mentally and been at mentally for her to come in my life for for the latter half of 2018. Yeah, I I did. A part of me, I don't know to what extent. A part again, a part of me fell in love with her. Uh, uh, it brought out something emotionally that I've never seen out of myself before, and I liked it. And uh, I I she would have saw more of an affectionate side of me if she stuck if she stayed on the stable, loyal area, because she would do some things that would make me retreat emotionally. And any person would do it, you know, I'm just without me trying to get too specific. It's normal. It's normal. When you feel like, you know, something's not going like it should, or you've got it plain, it's plainly shown, it, it, you know, your feelings are hurt, or if you're feeling betrayed, believe me, you're not, it, it, it shuts down, like, everything. Romantic, uh, emotions, um, and, um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I part, I, part of me did fall in love with her. And part of me, or, or, or a certain side of her. or, or and, and then where I didn't, I, I, I wanted to. I wanted her to give me reason to fall in love with her. I did. I did. I mean, it's like, it was just like this, the list, the list. 
I mean, I, I'm saying I've just never experienced that before. This gardening together, plants together, going to the river together, see a smile on her face, her be happy, her be in a good mood. We went canoeing together. It's like I could, I mean, we just did this stuff and it was like stress-free when we done it. And uh, I'm not saying there wasn't other stressful times, but in, in I don't know. I, I, but it, it was different too, you know, to try, try to factor in. I, there was increased privacy. We had more time together. I mean, you know, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to say. And then, I mean, I could be outside doing something with firewood, and she'd be moving the pile in the brush without me asking, or even over in my mom's yard. I liked that. Or every now and then, she'd bring me stuff. And in the the first cut, the first month she was here, I didn't turn on the washing machine for like a solid month. I had to show her just a few features, how to work it. I didn't ask her to do that. I didn't demand that. It was like she'd come in the house and then just started taking over the house. And I, I liked it. I liked it. I liked how she done it. I liked her touch. I, I, I liked it. I liked her feminine, womanly vibe on how she done the house, how she done the yard, planting morning glories. I liked it all. I liked it. I liked it a lot. And uh, loved it, liked it. But uh, it still don't mean that there's not missing pieces to have a solid foundational relationship and um i liked how she raised jasmine the dog uh i i, I found out i mean she, she i found out where she's smart i found out where potential what potential she has and i don't know i this is something i went through and and then just to say to this day i, I i'm not gonna the first part of that relationship, I, I don't regret it. I don't. E even if I went through emotional pain over it, I don't regret it. I learned something out of it. I can't explain it. It, it changed me. It forever changed me. And, and not in a bad way. I'm not in a bad way. I mean, I'm, I'm even, I'm more, I mean, there was a point I was like, it's like I realized, I'm like, whoa. And, and I'm not trying to criticize anybody I dated before her or, or even imply that. But it's like, there was, there was a, a point in time it was like, I'm like, whoa, this is how a relationship can be. I mean, I felt that there was a moment that I felt, I mean, I'm talking about, I don't know if you call it the honeymoon stage or what, but so many months into it, it was like, I was like, whoa, I haven't experienced this before. And I'm like, if I can keep experiencing this or if we can do this mutually, I'm like, this is going to work. This, this, I'm like, I need this in my life. And like, she's also good for my mother. You know, I mean, it was, it was a big deal here. It was a package deal. I wanted her to be on board with me. I wanted her to work with life with me. I wasn't wanting it to be a me, me, me thing. I was wanting it to be a us thing and with proper compromise. What can I say? What can I say? And it's still to this day, it may not ever be that. And if it won't be that, I, I accept it. I will, I will accept it. I mean, I have no choice to accept it. You cannot make something be that it's not. And I'm definitely not the type that wants to be in a relationship where I feel like I'm just being settled for or used for or, or we don't have certain things in common that we need in common. I, I, I can't do that. But uh, I mean, it, it was just like there was this 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 big list of stuff that we had in common, but there was also, even if it was a short list, they were very significant things that we did not have in common. But I was just saying, if we had those other things in common, it was like, whoa, I'm on your side. I, I, I will be happy to be your husband if you want me to be your husband. I would be happy to call you my wife. I felt that way. And that is, that it, that it, it is what it was. It is what it is. And it, 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 it it wasn't all bad. It was like, it was a life defining, it's not moment for me, a life defining experience. And, uh, it brought out some things to me that I needed brought out emotionally and otherwise. And I mean, I, I can't, ex I, what, I, what examples could I give? I don't know. Like, I mean, I'd give her, and I'd want to, like, if I'd go leave, get groceries, I'd give her a kiss before I left, you know, I, and, and, and wanted to. Uh, uh, be on the couch, watch the TV, just kind of pat on her back, rub her back. I don't know. I just, or even at times, you're just feeling bad. Be like, oh, go take a shower. Or she'd be in bed complaining. She's hot. She's irritable. She's not feeling good. I'm like, oh, go take a shower. Cool off. Be times I'd run her a bath. I mean, I was like trying to be Mr. Nice. And I remember one day I'm standing in the living room in the kitchen she's on the couch she's like will you bring me this will you bring me that my like, and i'm doing it you know and then and she's like you're enjoying this and she's like she's like yeah i am she's like i haven't had anybody ever do that for me and uh uh um but but what i was gonna say within the first few months she's here she's making like three course meals she's cooking i'm in the living room it'd be like before sunset she's bringing me a plate of food that she made and she's still in the kitchen 
preparing her own plate, but bought, brought me my plate first. And I'm just going to, this is going to be my ending note. I would not start eating until she come in and sat down. I just, I felt, it felt like a respect thing. It's like, I'm not going to start eating until she's there, present, and sits down. And, and, and believe me, I was liking her womanly attention, you know, and I'm not talking just in the sexual category. I'm talking about just how she done certain things, you know, uh, uh, in, in a, in a womanly way, a classy way. I, I liked it. And, and she ended up early on, she operated my weed eater, whatever weed eater I had then. I had to tell her, no, you can't do it in shorts. No, you got to wear eye protection. Like you don't understand. I've already busted out windows with it. It's a more, it's a more powerful weed, weed eater than what I'm used to. And, and, and we, the gun, I don't have anymore. It's tore up. We shot that together. Uh, and I found out how she's a really, really good driver. I th like as far as city, I don't like driving in cities, congested cities when it's, uh, uh like traffic hour makes me nervous, especially if I'm on my way around. She's a really, really good driver. She can back up well. Uh, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just stop with that. I'm done. I, I'm done. I'm done. I, I'm sorry. Maybe I, I'm going to upload it. What, whatever it means or don't mean, I'm just going to do it. And why am I finding that? Why did that end up in the dryer? A death certificate, what it appears to be. And if it's one of, if it's a dull habit one, it's the only one I have. That's That makes me sad. My adopted dad. That one, there's one that's, that one's not signed, but there is. I have it. It better have it. I'll be upset if I don't. But, and if anybody ever purposely takes that from you, that is hateful. That is mean. I'm not saying, or anything. I don't care, I mean, if it's personal matters, if it's a land deed, if it's photos, if it's sentimental things, with or without value, that, 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 that is hateful. There's been times I've had to take that to places and show it. There's one other thing I'll show. It's got, uh, forget the dirty floor and my flip flops, whatever. I remember this. I'd go to that the house I grew up in. I had this little stamp, a little ink stamp for like kids, you know, uh, pterodactyl. It was, I was a dinosaur fan, like four or five years old, big time dinosaur fan, and I, I would go through the house, I was stamping it on the wall, nobody got onto me, that wall's since been like painted over and wallpapered, whatever, but, and my dad, he would, I liked his cooking better than my mom's, and I remember in kindergarten, he'd walk down to the bus stop with me and wait with me, so I got a lot of memories with him, and I remember when he lost his hair through chemo, so he wasn't a fake dad, mm. Nobody can take that away from me, I guess, even if they do manipulate something else. I don't know. His death was really hard on me. He died, like, just weeks, a month before I turned six years old. And I remember him mowing this yard. My grandparents liked him. He had a riding mower, and he'd mow it without their their asking. And he had back problems. But anyway, uh, when he, I, before, I don't know. And the asbestos breaks may have caused him to get cancer. Um, he worked at, a like, a truck stop changing big tires and um uh i remember well, yeah when he lost his hair on the chemo and stuff like that and I, my mom did well i guess taking care of him up until the point he died in may of 1989 but anyway i'm gonna stop on that and her dad my dad they was born like the same year her the woman i've been talking about i think he passed away when she was like 12 like year 96 97 and she even took me to the graveyard, like early July 2018, right after she moved in. She'd barely been here a month. She took me to the cemetery for some reason. We happened to be out, and I don't know why she'd done that, but she did. And I remember she even cleaned up or pulled grass and did this and did that. I'll just say it's like near the crossroads. I don't even remember how to get to it, but crossroads off of Highway 70 between Glenwood, Arkansas, and Piercy, Arkansas. And um, I can't think of any... She took me to my alcohol classes I took in July of 2019. I was so grateful that she done it. And and we ate out, at first time to eat at, off of Central Avenue in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I ate at uh, Trejo's, a Mexican restaurant. And, uh, and 
She'd buy me clothes, just t t t t-shirts, and they and I liked them, and they fit well without me even asking. And I don't know. I'm just shutting up. I'm an idiot. I'm whatever, you know. Th th you know, there, there, there's there's a side of me. Unless I'm just gonna up and go to some other state, do something else somewhere else, and leave here. And that seems like what that's what everybody wants me to do. And uh, um, I don't know. I just don't know. It's like if she was on board better, and I don't want it to be fake. It's like I could I could use her in my life, you know. I mean, I know I'm I I feel like I'm good for her, but it may not be what she wants, and I can't make her want that, and I don't want her to be bad for me. That's all I got to say. I, I'm summing up on that. Audio sayonara, bye. Thank you. I guess I'm gonna upload it. Why not? Why not? If I make a fool out of myself, so be it. Sorry for the messes, but it's cleaner because of her. She did it. Mm. I was wanting her to stick around and do more. I needed the help. Or I still do if she if she does it right. I don't know if I do or not. Or maybe I just need her to get all of her stuff and she figure out what she wants to do. I don't know. I don't want any drama. I don't want any dishonesty. Flat out. I can't handle that. She's going to be 40 this year. I'm going to be 39. Anyway. She always was good at cleaning out the fish tank. I don't know.